Hi, this is Paul with Technical Marketing to share this short video of DNA Center and the automation for non-fabric wireless network. DNA Center is a true intent-based wireless automation system. Using only DNAC, we will show how easy it is to deploy a wireless network with profiles. We will discover devices, design, and provision to support local or Flex Connect sites, and for AP and Flex groups with Cisco's wireless best practices. First, let's show that our wireless LAN controller has not been configured with any WLAN, AP group, controller sub interfaces, radius server, etc. Let's move on to DNA Center. Without any devices in the inventory, we'll proceed to discover our wireless LAN controller. Once our devices are discovered and managed, we'll be ready for additional design. The design phase in DNA Center is where most of our configuration happens. For the interest of time, we have already predefined a basic site and its hierarchy, including additional buildings and floors. Next, we'll look at the network settings where site configurations are made, such as radius, DHCP, DNS, time zone, etc. Going on to wireless under network settings, where we can create our wireless SSIDs, interfaces, and any RF profiles. We'll come back to the RF profiles later. Let's create a secure, radius-empowered wireless network, taking advantage of automating fast lane and fast transition, as well as many of Cisco's best practices without the inconvenience to the administrator. Next, a wireless profile is created to help define whether a site will be fabric or non-fabric, local or flex connect, and assign to a sub-interface. Finally, we'll move on to provision where we'll use the network profiles as configuration sets. We first select our wireless LAN controller and assign it to a site. Since a controller is being configured for the first time, we'll need to also add the wireless sub-interface network setting. The configuration is summarized in DNAC and is then pushed to the controller. Once completed, we can validate that the controller has been configured per our profiles defined in DNAC for the WLAN SSID, interface assignment, fast transition, and fast lane automation, and so on. In addition, we can see that the controller sub-interface has been configured, as well as radius server. As far as AP group, we'll continue in our next step to have DNAC provision this to our access points that are coming online. Once access points are discovered and managed, we can provision the AP to a site and assign an RF profile. In addition to defaults, many customers are requiring custom RF profiles. DNSC provide this capability during wireless profile design. In this example, we created a unique RF profile with customized parameters for data rates, dynamic channel assignment, TPC, RX SOP, etc. This can be selected during our AP provisioning if needed. Once we provision our access points, we can refer back to the controller for a quick validation. Here, we will see that our AP group has been created for this specific site floor with selected access points and RF profile. We are now ready to onboard any wireless clients onto the secured wireless network that was provisioned by DNAC. That is it. As we can see in this video, DNA Center has shown that intent-based network automation in wireless design and provisioning is simple and will make the experience so much better for every administrator. Thank you for watching.